Well, hey guys, we are ju we just got back out here on Percy Priest Lake. It's Friday, June 25th, and uh, we're going to get after it. You know, it's been a long time since I've done a video. I just have been too busy. I've had a lot going on. But to today, we're going to get out here, and hopefully we can get on a good evening bite. So let's see what happens. That bird's saying chimichanga. Hear it? Keep saying chicken chimichanga. <laughs> what was that? No, I got it stuck on one of them there rocks. Got a wedge down in yonder. Yonder way. He's only probably what ten inches or so. Yeah, she, he's a ten incher. Ten incher, maybe. Yeah. I felt like that would get him, get it done. Oh no, he's eleven and a half. Well, come here, buddy. Chill. Hey, 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 hey. Well, dang, dude. You just flopping everywhere. Anyway, guys, there's that one. All right, cool. Thank you, Lord. That was, I needed that. I hadn't really been catching much. Well, I haven't been fishing. But that's, that's cool because that's on a crawfish bait. That... Yeah, it's a new bait. I have, I have uh, I been. I have thrown that color before. Never had any success in it, but that's probably the 
Well, we'll see if I can get those bigger bass to bite. All right, guys, this is uh, what I caught him on as a net bait. Pocket Slim 4 inch. It's this bait here. This green pumpkin. And then it's got the orange belly. That's a good little bait. Now I'm throwing it on. Uh, I'm not even sure what size head this is. But I'm throwing it on a, uh, a VMC swinging rugby jig. I think that's a three odd hook. But uh, yeah, that's what I'm using there. I'm just text posing it. That's fun. I love it when they're biting. I love cloudy days. You know what, Jeff? All right, let's get back at it. There's some shad, or uh, some fry right there. Yeah. See them? Yeah. Yeah, see them right there? Oh, yeah, a lot of them. Yep. See, something's working back in there. You gotta make yeah, I can see it too, Jeff. But yeah, that's a whole pocket of fry. So if there's fry, there's some bass close by somewhere. That's why I'm going so slow with this creature bait. But Yeah, look at all of that. Staying close to the bank too, ain't it? That's really, really shallow right there. Be careful. What was that? Man, <laughs> man, come on, buddy. Here he comes. Get him. There he is. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. That was cool. As soon as we seen that fry, there were the bass. Isn't that something? There's that one, guys. Let me see if he's a keeper or not. Nope. Nope. He's 14 inches, guys. Yeah. But I caught him again. That one again on that. Uh, net bait. See? Uh -huh. Good looking, healthy. Look at him. I like to look at him anymore, real close. Did you look in the back of his throat? Yeah, I did. Thanks, thanks, buddy. Cool. Thank you, Lord.
So all the bites came back there. Yeah, but just hang tight because we're getting ready to hit the bluff wall. We can eliminate all this stuff in the next couple of days. Yeah. Well, you act like you're going fishing for the next couple of days. Maybe so. Maybe so. <laughs> Yeah. Huh? Dang, he wanted that that one. Go ahead and take over the troll motor, Jeff, while I take care of this guy. Well. All right, hang tight there, buddy. I'll get you go out of here in a second. There's that one. So, I wanna, I'm just kind of keeping track of what I've caught so far. And this guy here is 11 and a half so just not catching the size yet i got a little pattern going though oh jeff just lost one yeah Thank you, Lord. They really like it. That bait I'm throwing. I just love it. And I'll tell you what, guys. These plastics are holding up. That's the third fish I've caught on that crawl right there. So the, the plastics hold up. Well, hey, everybody, I hope you enjoyed that footage. Uh, that was the last Friday of June 2021. And we were fortunate to have some cloudy overcast skies. So uh, that worked out great. And uh, it made it much nicer to get out there and fish. Uh, you know, you didn't have that sun beating down on you. Uh, it was still a little humid, muggy, but uh, but other than that, you know, the weather was awesome. Uh, I thought I'd do something a little different with this video and uh, close it out with uh, kind of uh, giving you a quick run through on what I was throwing. Um, I know I mentioned earlier in the video I was throwing a, uh, uh, the net bait, Paca Slim 4 inch, it's this one right here, and uh, I was using the uh, Alabama Flare. So that's the color I was using. Uh, I just did a uh, tackle warehouse order and I got stocked up on them, but uh, I will say that uh, it's pretty good bait. Uh, it'll get you bites when it's tough. Um, I was pairing it up with a green pumpkin VMC swinging rugby jig with a 3 odd EWG hook. And then, of course, I've also got the, uh, the black ones. This one's beat up a little bit. But uh, uh, that's a quarter ounce. I uh, looked it up. I know earlier in the video I couldn't remember, but that is a quarter ounce on the uh, head. Um, I was using this rod, and uh, it is an Abu Garcia setup that I paired up together. Um, 
it's pretty cost effective. The rod is a six foot six, medium heavy, fast action. I chose that length because I could make more accurate cast with the bait, especially if I'm covering that, you know, three to 10 foot range in the water column. So um, that's the rod. And I paired it up with an Abu Garcia Aura, seven to one gear ratio. Uh, Abu Garcia doesn't make those anymore. Uh, you might be able to find one on eBay or Amazon or somewhere like that. But I've had this reel since I think 2016 or 2017. No issues. I've got several of these actually. And uh, no issues, just a great, great reel. Um, so that's what I was throwing. Uh, I was using 17 pound fluorocarbon. And basically how I spool this up, and this is something that, a little tip for you guys. I spool this up with uh, either 15 pound or 17 pound mono. And I fill it up halfway as a backing. And then I use a double uni knot and I tie on 17 pound fluorocarbon. Now, the reason I do that is fluorocarbon, as you know, is expensive. So putting that monofilament backing on there allows you to save a lot of money. So I do that, and uh, so that was my setup. And uh, I was just basically uh, dragging the bait and hopping. So I was using a combination of that um, on my cadence, and that's what they seemed to like. They didn't want it moving real fast, um, but they didn't want it totally just uh, dragged or, or hopped, either one. So uh, that was the rod, reel, and line. The, the floor car I use is the, the floor cast. And then I use the strand mono. Um, so anyway, uh, that's just a quick rundown on uh, on what I did out there. And um, comment below if you've had any success with the uh, net bait uh, pocket slim. You know, let me know if you've had any luck with this. Um, and you know, just tell me about your experiences with it. So anyway, uh, that's all I got for you. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, click like on the video, subscribe to my channel, and we'll talk to you soon.